A Horror, Tragic Story. By Jun Li. I opened the door, to my horror, a few skeletons lay there, chained on the wall. Okay, time to recap. I and my friends, Jack and Peter, were playing around an old, abandoned mansion. We were told that no one was allowed to enter. However, curiosity overcame us and we picked the lock granting us entrance into the sacred lair of the unknown. At the sight of the skeletons, the three of us were completely stunned. Our jaw hung wide open for a few minutes before we came back to our senses. My sixth sense told me that something was about to go wrong, so I urged the other two to back out of the mansion. Don't be such a chicken, said Jack, with a shaky voice. Aren't you scared too? I challenged him. Yes, but we might never get the chance to explore here again if we leave now. All right, but we leave as soon as the first sign of danger shows. We ventured deeper into the mansion. The design looked like some sort of torture room, or a prison. Even though I was afraid, I was eager to discover more. Throughout the lair, we did not lose sight of skeletons or spider webs. These were at every corner, at every turn. The occasional hulls from a distance made the hair on our backs stand up straight. We finally arrived at a long hallway. Jack picked up a piece of wood and lighted it up with his lighter. The flame seared at first, but after it simmered down, I was able to see the walls clearly. There were ancient writings, the kind we usually see in an Egyptian grave robber movie. As the expert in history, Jack tried his best to decipher the carvings. Meanwhile, Peter leaned towards the wall to catch his breath. At that very moment, a cold chill went down my spine. Watch out, I shouted. Before he could react, that portion of the wall he was leaning against flipped, trapping him on the other side. All he could let out was a loud shriek and he vanished behind the walls. I pounded against the wall, shouting his name. Only then did I know what real terror felt like. However, the chance of rescuing him was bleak. I sank to the ground, desolated and hopeless. Let's get out of here, we have to inform the adults. Suggested Jack. I got to my feet swiftly and both of us sped through the building. My heart was racing. I knew that danger may be waiting at the next corner. I could hear blood pounding in my ears. Wait, was that a creak I heard? Oh, I thought to myself. The ceiling began to crumble. My subconsciousness took over. I sprang forward and tackled Jack. Both of us fell to the ground. Just as I thought the trouble was out of the way, the burning piece of wood slipped out of his hand and landed in a pile of grease. Fire started spreading like mad. I struggled to get up. Come on, there's not much time left. I screamed as I turned towards the exit. Ah, in a split second, my head turned 180 degrees. A gigantic marble pillar fell on Jack. I mustered all the strength from every single cell in my body, trying to lift it up to no avail. My eyes were watery. I was completely out of ideas. Save yourself, leave me, please, muttered Jack, with a weak tone. This was certainly a tough decision for me. All the moments we had spent together flashed through my mind. How could I leave him now? As the fire was close to sealing my only exit, I knew that I had to be rational. I dived for my escape route. Tears rolled down my cheeks as the mansion erupted into flames behind me.